Welcome, welcome, welcome. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Do not own the right to this music. I just want to raise the vibration. We're going to get into our spring equinox gathering. We're just bringing in the vibrations of joy. Greetings Patricia, greetings Ida, greetings everyone that's joining. How are you all doing? Please let me know where you are tuning in from. We're just playing some music while we wait for people to come in. And this is midnight. I do not own the rights to this music, but we're raising the vibration. I'm coming in the name of love and joy and peace. There's enough <laughs> tragedy in the world. Greetings, Sister Natalie. We've had to shift over here, so welcome, 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 everyone. Please let me know that you're in the room. Leave a comment, let me know where you are coming from. Yes, I think I'm going to get a rewind on there. Patricia says she loves this tune. I've really been actually dreaming about this man and his message. And there's a lot going on in the world, so... The vibration we're going to use today is love, the healing. Greetings, Leslie. Tuning in all the way from Orlando, Florida. Greetings, 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 greetings. To Lotus, Anaya, Patricia. Greetings, Natalie. Greetings, sister. So I'm just waiting for a few people to come in the room. And I just want you to just pop to the music and raise your vibration a little bit. The good thing about reggae music is it's attuned to the heart. It's tuned to the heart, so it helps you to get into that space. It helps you to conjure up the energy of joy. It helps you to get into your safe. Greetings to Simone. Welcome, 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 welcome. In the name of love and peace and power. How are you all doing at this time? Welcome, welcome everyone. Just waiting for a few more people to come in the room. And we're also raising the vibration. Listening to some midnight. Love the life you live. Live the life you love. Come on. There's no more powerful vibration than love for healing and joy. Greetings to Crystal. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is New Year today. Thank you so much. She said you're looking beautiful, by the way. Thank you very much. It is the first day of spring. And Mama Earth is spring cleaning. And we are using this Aries energy to put a spring in our step. Crystal Grey says, love the lips. What is it? It's like a mix between green and blue. Yeah. And I have started this movement. Liberate your lips. Colours are vibrations. And vibrations have an effect on our mood, on our mind, on our body, our spirit. Because we are energy. We are vibratory beings. So, I use my lips as a way of spreading joy. <laughs> and also for healing for myself, you know. To learn to love myself. Greetings to Shay. To Shai. Yes, welcome, welcome. We're just letting brother Akai bring in the heavenly vibrations so that we can really understand. He said, your body is your temple. This song has been ringing out in my spirit. Greetings to Tweepy. Welcome, welcome. Yes, it's a happy new year because we move with the flow of nature, of mother nature. That's it. Welcome, welcome, everyone. 
Yes, you are the type of apple of jam of God. Yes, I. Greetings, sis. Greetings, greetings. Just welcoming you all in on some heavenly vibrations. We'll be doing a guided meditation today to help us on a personal and collective level through the vibration of love. We are going through change, and so love is always the way through change to bring peace, to bring us back to our center. So just taking the vibrations, shake away the blues, you know, open up your heart, give thanks for life. Greetings Prima, give thanks for life, we are here, and until we're not here we might as well enjoy it. No, the Zoom was not working, so the universe clearly wanted this to be shared on Facebook, so we're going with that vibration. Drinking my herbs, as we have to do in these many times. Hope you're all doing well. And we're about to get started. Welcome to everybody who's coming into the room. So I'm about to get ready. How are you all doing? Let me know in the comments how you are all doing. How's your day been? I'm thankful that you can share this space with me. Greetings to Lee. Greetings to everybody that is coming in at the moment. Welcome, 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 welcome everyone. Let us get started. I am a mentee, the Awakener, a mentee, the Oracle, and I am thankful that you could all join me in this space. Let's just move this candle over here. Yes, and we give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks for the gift of life, for the gift of breath, for the gift of this day. People, 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 we are in the midst of change, and although things may be falling down around us, or it seems as if they're falling down around us this is the time for love and for joy and so in this space today we wanted to celebrate number one that we are in this equinox period which is the balance between light and dark it is the balance and we are going through a rebalancing right now as well so everything is in alignment and we're also moving into the energy of aries aries is the fire sign and it is the first sign in the zodiac and aries is all about action it's all about movement it's all about change you know and so we are really in the midst of that but whilst all of that's going on um the guidance that i'm receiving from spirit is to especially with this space to create a space where we utilize the energy of joy we utilize the energy of love to bring healing and rebalancing to ourselves and also to the planet at this time because there is so much going on and sometimes we doubt our own powers you know as i said before we are vibratory beings we are divine beings and so when we come together with an intention and a purpose we can really transform the world that we're living in mother earth is birthing and we are the creators sometimes we feel like we have no um, power against the things that are going on around us and outside of us but we forget that we are part of everything and we have the power collectively and individually to make change in our environments. And we are birthing, recreating a new reality together, consciously or unconsciously. Things are shifting. And so we can either tune into the vibration of fear and allow things to just take place without, you know, our sovereign action, or we can choose to at least you know, acknowledge our power to bring change, even in the way that we think about things, in the way that we do things, in the way that we share love. You know, this is a time of testing us in our faith, but love is the uh, vibration. Love is the key. Love is what's going to bring us through this shift. In mother Na in nature, there is always an ending and a beginning. There's always a rising and a fall. And we are going through 
a transition into a new phase, a new age, a new way of living, an evolution in human consciousness. And as much as we've been talking about it for a long time, we're seeing it happen before our very eyes. And it can be a bit unnerving when we are, you know, constantly bombarded by information. But when we look at the positive attributes of this particular experience and time that we're in, we can change it to our benefit. We can acknowledge that it's a time for us to be able to learn and really ask questions about what's going on in our reality. We're being encouraged to take charge of each other, take care of each other, take care of our body, be more conscious of our actions and really look towards working together to see how everybody can be good. You know, and that's how we're shifting into this different stage, this next stage of our evolution, which some call unity consciousness. But really, it's about us getting closer to the understanding of oneness, getting closer to the understanding of what it means to be the divine sovereign, the divine creator in the flesh and to be human. So there's a lot of good things going on and our sovereignty, our free will is being tested. But we have to understand that no weapon formed against us can prosper. And those words are there to remind us and to ignite the divine creator within us because there is a force within us that can sustain all things. Sometimes we can just be limited by the perception of the mind, but there are words, there are prayers, there are psalms, there are things that we can do to help us get back in to the vibration of love and understanding that there is a divine creator, a divine force which is governing all all things and all we have to do is hold on to the vibration of what it is that we want to manifest and what it is that we want to see in our life this time in um the cycle it, in terms of even in the year it's all about rebirth it's all about spring cleaning and it's all about having that spring in your step it's a time of creativity it's a time of looking at your skills and developing and looking at which areas you can now um, use your skills to bring you the things that you want in your life it's a time of, um, you know, there is, it is a time of fear for some, but it's also a time of change. And what we can do is just remind each other to stay in our heart and do things that we enjoy to keep us in that vibration of love. You know, when you get lemons, make lemonade, you know, spend time with your children, spend time with your family, spend time studying, spend time dancing. Dancing has been a great thing for me, you know, just to raise my vibration. Music is a powerful tool for shifting your energy. And a lot of my videos recently have been about, you know, the light body and understanding our awareness of the different aspects of our human physiology. Physiology. No longer are we looking at ourselves as just human beings. We have to understand the nature of our mental, emotional and spiritual bodies. And so this is a time for us to get closer to ourselves and to start nurturing and looking after ourselves on those levels as well. So what have you guys been up to for today? How have you guys celebrated your spring equinox? And what are the things that you're looking forward to implementing over the next couple of months, weeks or for the rest of the year? Please do leave your comments in the box and just let me know what's going on with you in these changing times. Uh, in my post earlier, I wrote about um, some information that I was looking into and receiving through my dreams a lot of us are having a lot of dreams at the moment and last night I was um spending time with the angels in the angelic realms and just understanding you know some of the reasonings behind things that are going on in the UK particularly and in London particularly and as we are expanding in our consciousness we're becoming aware of our energy on all of the different levels and so we have our chakras our seven chakras which are you know within our auric field in our body and then we have our um, extra chakras basically that go all the way up to 46 and beyond but we're talking about the 12 chakras and the planet also has chakras and these chakras are our, are our energy centers our energetic centers and like vortexes of energy within and without and so um, as we're aw awakening our consciousness of, of who we are on all of these different levels, so is the planet. Now, every chakra aligns with a different uh, country on the planet um, as an energy vortex. And, um, sorry, Glastonbury happens to be the heart chakra of the world. And Luxor in Egypt happens to be the throat chakra of the world. Now, London happens to be the earth star chakra of the world. And why this is important is because this particular vortex, this particular energy center has only recently opened and it is governed with the ancestral uh, collective um, memory and energy of the earth's story and also the wealth of the earth. And why that is important is because earth star chakra is located in London on the planet. And so 
us being here is for a reason and so what we're going to do today through this um, guided meditation is to just send some love and light using certain um, colors and frequencies to basically send healing energy to London to the earth as well so that we can start to purify some of these energies that are going on and start to bring love the vibration of love to help dispel some of the fear that is taking place now we're also going to use the power of the word um, and the, the power of, of sound to amplify out to activate our chakras and also to um, activate our light body and also speak to the cells in our body I put up a post this week about the importance of um, how your emotions and your thoughts affect your immune system, how they affect your cells. And, you know, even um, science and quantum physics shows us that we can reprogram our body, our cells through speaking life into them. And so we're going to go through the process of speaking to ourselves, speaking life into ourselves so that we can nourish our body, our energy system and say healthy and and happy in this time that we're in right now and these are tools that you'll be able to use with other people um you know and help empower and encourage other, and others and those around you because at the same time while it's good for us to make sure that we keep our pay, our peace it's our responsibility to ensure that those around us are looked after this is the time for really trying to keep you know people's hearts and minds as peaceful as possible and looking out for our brothers and sisters because when we're going through these kind of situations it is it is you know really to show us how connected we are and how we need to take responsibility for each other in these times so that is the um the outline of what it is that i'm going to do um let me know that you're here anyone that's new in the room well i did a reading before i came on here just to kind of look at um you know what kind of vibration or what kind of message we can get from the ancestrals i was working i'm working in this meditation with the angelic forces because they're the ones that have come forward to help with some of the energy healing that we want to do and the grid work that we want to do through our meditation um metatron came through in my dream last night and metatron deals with um the sacred geometry and symbols and in in 1666 after the fire of london um a lot of the buildings in london were basically rebuilt along the so, along sacred geometry shapes right in order to be able to generate certain energies and harness certain powers so we're going to utilize um the energy of archangel michael and sacred geometry namely the flower of life to basically break any kind of um you know any kind of curses any bounds on this place and just bring the vibration of love bring the vibration of love into this space and freedom and sovereignty um also um also we're going to be calling on archangel michael because he is the defender that is the energy of the defender uh bringing the sword of truth and we also uh, bring in the energy of archangel sandalphon because there are different angelic forces angelic energies which govern different places on the on the on the planet and archangel sandalphon who is also ezekiel is the one that governs this particular place so when we're going through our meditation we'll just be calling in those energies to support us as we do this work the ultimate aim is to number one bring health and happiness into our bodies but also to send out healing for the planet send out healing to the waters send out healing to the children send out healing for the elderly call on our ancestral mothers call on our ancestral forces in this time to guide and guard and protect us whilst we go through this transition many of us are going through different shifts we're going through you know many different things and so i just ask for peace and i'm asking for healing i'm asking for empowerment i'm asking for strength so that we can all go through this shift and and come out on the other side you know in our highest self as the butterfly goes into the cocoon it has to leave behind the caterpillar that it once was and when you look at it it's almost as if we are going into a cocoon we are going into zero point we are going into the womb and that's where we get to recreate who we are that's where we get to recreate and redefine the kind of reality that it is that we want to have and whilst we are in this cocoon we go through this transformation and this metamorphosis to become the butterfly to become this beautiful being that is free and that is expansive and that's a metaphor for what it is that we're going through at this time so i just called on archangel michael beforehand to ask um also sorry before i go into that 
Um, some other energy that I've been working with has been the ancestral mothers, um, especially since I've come back from Trinidad, working with uh, the energies of the Orishas and the nature spirits. Um, a lot of the grandmother spirits have been coming through and really talking about the ancient stories of, pla of planet Earth and the ancient mothers and the ancient mat matriarchs that govern this land. I also, um, when we go through the meditation, we are going to, when we send healing to um, England, we're going to call it by its one of its original names, which is Albion. And it's funny because somebody showed me a program the other day called Knots and Crosses, where it talks about this conflict between Ap Apria and I think and Albion, and the UK was called Albion. But that is one of the one of the ancient names. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we're calling on the ancient forces of this planet. We're calling on the ancient custodians and guardians of this planet to help to um, support us as we go through this transition and this change. And so we. We acknowledge our indigenous ancestors, we acknowledge our um, angelic forces and galactic guardians and we acknowledge even the elementals um, that's, that we're all going through this in this transition and that we can be supported by those forces. So I just wanted to bring, some, bring a bit of that information in as well. So I did a reading for um, this meditation just to find out if spirit had anything that it wanted to share with us and i chose from the archangel michael pack because it was archangel michael who i was conversing with this rising and so the first card that's come up is the message that says you and your loved ones are safe and obviously that is a beautiful message for us to know right now that we have to hold the vibration that we and our loved ones are safe um, and there's a prayer that goes with, uh, with it that just says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over us and our loved ones. Please help us to feel secure and at peace and fill us with faith so that we may focus on our priorities and enjoy a healthful and happy life. OK, so the first message is that your you and your loved ones are safe. And when you hold that vibration of trust in your heart, that's where fearlessness comes from. It doesn't come from you having to fight. It comes from you trusting and knowing. And one of the things I've been noticing a lot is, you know, just even how nature works, the birds and everything. Yes, they don't have the same kind of um, bills and things that we have, but they don't worry about what it is that, they, you know, where their food is going to come from. Nature provides and we just have to learn to have that trust and be able to act on our divine inspiration as well. And we will be nourished and nurtured in all times. All right. So the next card that comes up as a message from the angelics is positive thoughts create positive results. <laughs> positive thoughts create positive results. And basically that's all about the mind it's all about us knowing that we are creating our reality in each and every moment we are creating our reality and so we can choose to uh, tune into fear or we can choose to tune into love you know this is the time for you to rebirth your 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 true ideal reality like i spend time just spending time thinking about what you would like your life to be like what you what would you like the world to be like especially based on the current events you know so spend time thinking positively because that will create the positive results and the prayer that goes with that says divine love and wisdom i call upon you now and i know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you i ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and every situation okay and yes even again saying that it just helps you to bring back yourself back into your center to acknowledge the source of our power um which which lies in the creator and in our hearts so the next card that came up is use your imagination and you'll see the answer Again, we're going to be utilizing the power of our imagination, which is basically our gateway into the other dimensions, into the hidden, into the womb, into the subconscious where all things are made manifest and all things are created. So it's saying that, again, it's up to us to look, go within and seek the answers that we're looking for and spend time within our imagination, within our consciousness, experiencing and communicating with the creator asking the questions that we want to know the answers to and spending time within ourselves to listen to the guidance to listen to the answers and to seek the signs outside of us um, it's a time for us to get connected with ourselves and i thought the last card was pretty cool the last card is sense of humor and it's basically saying that as much as all of this stuff is going on we need to keep a sense of humor we need to keep it light we need to keep our energy up for because at the end of the day it's that vibration of joy that is going to make us get through anything anything in life that we're going through so that is the guidance from the angelics and um 
yeah i hope that you have received that also um just prayer for me is is just a very powerful thing regardless of whatever um religious background you come from prayers especially seasoned prayers you know like prayers that are in the bible prayers that your grandmother probably read those prayers are so important and can be a, 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 sen- a source of sustenance and peace in these times regardless of whether you're religious or not when i think about okay psalm 91 and it says he gives his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways instantly when i say that it reminds me that of the fact that we are protected that we are guided it talks about you know not fearing the pestilence and the noiseless like what we're going through right now is pestilence this is what they would have called pestilence back in the day you understand what i mean like but we have to understand that there is no fear we cannot have any fear about that because once we tune into somebody else's projection of our reality then we become a slave to it however we do have a choice to remain conscious we have a choice to tune into the power that controls all things and utilize that to kind of bring us peace and comfort in these times so yes um yeah just just prayer is something that i feel like is is powerful in terms of helping us to stay grounded and helping us to stay connected to the center and to the heart all right so i think we're about to get ready for the meditation um and you're encouraged to set your intentions for what it is that you would like to bring in and if you could put some of your intentions down in the comments below or let me know that you are still tuning in that you are here i know if i was on instagram i'd be getting all my likes and my hearts and whatnot because you know it's nice so if you want to give me some hearts then that would be great to send some energy back to me as i'm sending all of this energy over to you but yeah this is not (laughs) this is not instagram but maybe a like anyway um yeah let's get on with it All right, so just give me one second. Close this door. All right, cool. Right, so wherever you are, I'd like you to just get into a comfortable space a comfortable position where you can be seated preferably with your feet flat on the ground in a space where you will not be disturbed that's it and i always advise you to call in your own protection and how you can do that is first and foremost just Call in the source that you are, the creator that you are. Ask your ancestors to guide you, surround you. You can see yourself in a bubble of light, surrounded by light. And just take a few deep centering breaths. Breathing in. And releasing. Ah. Breathing in. And releasing. Ah. Another deep breath in from the feet. And releasing. Ah. One more deep breath in down from the crown to the throat. And releasing. Ah. Just allow your breath to go to its natural rhythm and as you continue to breathe in and out just feeling yourself becoming more and more relaxed and we're going to play the drum and you just allow the sound of the drum to merge with your breath just breathing in and out in your own natural rhythm and with each and every breath 
feeling yourself becoming more and more relaxed. Your head relaxing. Airs relaxing. Shoulders Feeling your hips relaxing and legs relaxing. And on your next breath, I want you to see, sense or imagine way, way, way above your head. Deep into the night sky, a bright shining star glistening in the universe. Set your intention to connect with this star, which is the star of Sirius, the central sun in the universe for our planet. Just continue to breathe as you connect with the energy of this bright star. And on your next breath, see a beam of silver light pouring down from the star, down through the universe, down past the sky, to the sun above your head. See this silver starlight pouring down into the sun now. See, sense or imagine the flower of life symbol or six circles interlude to look like a flower. This is the sacred seed of life and the source of all creation. See it now in the sun. And as you take another deep breath in, Set your intention to receive the gold 12 dimensional energy of the sun infused with the symbol of the flower of life. This symbol helps to reprogram your cells, reprogram your blood, reprogram everything to its original divine blueprint. And as you take a deep breath in now, see, sense or imagine a honey-like, thick elixir of light pouring down from the sun now, down towards your head. See, sense or imagine a white and golden flower, a lotus flower, unfolding on the top of your head and opening your crown chakra. See as the thick honey-like elixir of light starts to pour into your crown chakra now. See, sense or imagine this golden, thick healing of elixir of light pouring down into the top of your skull, slowly filling your skull with this golden healing light. And as it pours halfway down your skull, you see a white quartz crystal in the center of your brain. This is your pineal gland. 
and as this golden light pours into your pineal gland rainbow light starts to pour out of the crystal and fills your whole body with this rainbow light take another deep breath in now and as you do so just seeing this golden energy this golden light pouring down into your third eye cleansing and purifying your third eye clearing away all blockages to sight and activating your inner eye your ability to see through all things and the ability to go within take another deep breath in now sending that energy down Past your ears, activating your ability to hear wisdom. Pouring down now past your lips, bathing your tongue in this golden alchemical healing energy, cleansing your tongue and palate of all negativity, all negative words undoing all curses spoken by your mouth against yourself or others and igniting your power of the word the ability to speak things into existence the ability to bring healing through your words the ability to declare and decree and command to speak truth See it pouring down now into your throat chakra, this beautiful golden honey-like elixir of light. Gold is an alchemical colour, able to transmute all energies into higher vibrations while enriching it with new light codes. Light is energy and as we pour this sacred elixir of light into the throat chakra, it cleanses and purifies our throat chakra, cleansing and clearing and activating our ability to speak our truth, to speak words of love and empowerment, to speak things into existence in line with our highest good. Take a deep breath in. As you do so, see this energy pouring down your shoulders, pouring down your left shoulder, elbow, hands, palms. See it swirling around in your left palm as it activates your hand chakras, your ability to magnetize and draw to you, the ability to receive, the ability to nurture, to heal through your hands. See it now pouring down the right shoulder, right elbow, into the right palm, into the fingertips, cleansing and clearing away all negative energy that you've received or put out. Activating your courage and confidence, your ability to command and create. Activating your healing abilities. And then bringing your attention back to your throat chakra and seeing this golden energy spiraling around in your throat chakra. Take a deep breath in now and as you release just feel this energy moving down slowly into your heart and as you take a deep breath in and release, you release all heaviness from your heart. Continue to breathe in, breathing in love and releasing all fear from your body. Breathing in strength and trust and compassion and breathing out judgment and fear. Breathing in love for self. Breathing out anything that isn't love 
just allowing this golden light energy to pour into your heart chakra and allow anything to come to your mind or heart that needs to be released right now into the holy fire any negative feelings any bad vibes with anyone any unresolved issues just let them go now with the sacred breath breathing in freedom for yourself breathing out love for all take another deep breath in now and as you release, just seeing that energy now pouring down into your solar plexus, your inner sun. And as you do so, see it cleansing and clearing away all blockages to your personal power, all misplaced anger, all fear of acting, of trusting your intuition, all fear of misbelief all misbelief in your own courage and confidence clearing away now and as you continue to breathe in and release just feeling a warmth in that area just seeing this golden energy spiraling in your sacred solar plexus igniting your divine will igniting your courage igniting your inner power Aries is the energy of fire. Aries is the energy of drive, of focus, of passion. So we're utilizing this energy now as we take these deep breaths and energize our energy centers. Let's take another deep breath in and send that down now into your abdomen area, into your sacral chakra. Your sacred space of creativity, sexual and creative energy, the seat of your soul power. So as you take a deep breath in, just call on the energy of water and see that golden light just spiraling in your womb area or your abdomen. Setting the intention to clear and cleanse away all feelings of stagnation. Bringing more movement into the body. Bringing more energy into the body. Activating the creativity. Bringing more joy into your body. And just moving your hips a circle motion as you help your body to cleanse and clear away all stuck energy and bringing more healing energy into your body and as you take another deep breath in just sending that energy down now into the base of your body into your root chakra just see this golden energy now sitting in the base of your body and notice a spiral a coiled serpent representing your kundalini energy bathing that now in light cleansing and clearing away all fear and anxiety clearing and cleansing away all scarcity consciousness Cleansing and cleansing away all that no longer serves and helping you to feel more supported and grounded, knowing that all your needs are met, knowing that you are safe and protected and guided at all times. Ashe. That's it. And as you take another deep breath in, sending that energy down to the base of your feet and feeling a warmth developing and growing in the base of your feet. 
as we are about to go into Mother Earth, we'll also activate the 13th chakra or the 8th chakra in some systems, which is called your Earth Star Chakra. The Earth Star Chakra lies about 8 inches beneath your feet and is one of your anchors to this Earth. The Earth Star Chakra is also connected to the ancestral energy, the ancestral memory of humanity on this planet. Their information, their strength, their power, and the records of their experiences on this realm live within the Earth. And through our Earth Star, we are connected to this ancestral wisdom, this ancestral story this ancestral legacy. This chakra is also concerned with our personal wealth and our ability to draw wealth from our talents, from our gifts. We can utilize this chakra to ground and connect to the primal forces of the earth. And so as we take another deep breath in, and release. I want you to see, sense, or imagine a diamond shape, 3D chakra, spinning beneath the floor beneath you, black and gold in colour. And as you take your next deep breath in, as we prepare to send our energy down into Mother Earth, See this golden energy shooting down through the floor beneath you like roots going deep into the floor, down into the concrete and the pavement, down into the soil, down past the waters and crystal caverns of the earth, down deep through the earth star chakra. And as it touches the earth star chakra, it shines a bright gold and the black becomes like onyx protective force anchoring you to the earth and as you take another deep breath in and release sending that energy down down deep into mother earth down until you see a glowing orange ball of light this is mother earth's core wrap your golden roots around mother earth's core and feel a tug as you anchor your energy to Mother Earth. Take a deep breath in now, in from Mother Earth, all the way up through your body, up through the heavens, through the sun, up to the star of Sirius, and into the womb of the universe, where the source lives. Take another deep breath, sending that energy back down, down to your crown, down through your body and into Mother Earth. On your next breath, drawing that energy up again from Mother Earth, through your Earth Star, Root, Sacral, Solar Plexus, Heart, Throat, Third Eye, Crown to the sun, Sirius, and into the womb, the zero point of creation, down once more, into the crown, down through the body, down through the earth star, and into mother earth, just allow your breath to go to its natural rhythm and feel your connection, as above, so below, anchored to Mother Earth, connected to the zero point of creation, the source of the universe. And as you continue to breathe, just feeling the energy channeling from Mother Earth to the source through you. And we're going to use this energy now to activate our light body which is our energetic field. 
we're going to use this energy now to activate and flush our dormant latent DNA codes with the fire codes needed to activate our higher spiritual gifts we'll also use this energy combined with the golden light the 12 dimensional golden light our chemical light to purify our mind our body our spirit of all viruses all negative energy all negative thoughts all old patterning soul contracts that need that are no longer required or needed in this time and so we call on the ancestral mothers we call on Nana Baluku we call on Yemanya we call on great white calf buffalo woman we call on all of the ancestral mothers the feminine primal energies of Sophia, of Isis, we call on all of the energies of the mothers to surround us now in their love and protection. We call in the Archangels and the angelic forces. We call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron to help us to clear and purify our energetic systems and the earth grids of the planet. We call in Archangel Sandalphon to bathe London, the earth star, in light to purify and release all curses or bonds or breaks or sacred contracts that no longer serve humanity to purify them in the highest vibration of love we call on the forces of nature we call on the fire the earth the air and the water of spirit we call on our higher selves to fuse with us now in this space next deep breath in drawing that energy now into the body see that golden energy now pouring into each and every one of your cells see your cells now bathing with golden light send joy into your cells see your cells vibrating with health and wellness Feel the health spreading in your body. Liver bathed in light. Colon. Lungs bathed in light. Take a deep breath in. And as you release, just releasing all lower vibrational energies from your lungs. Breathing in fresh air. Transmuting and purifying all.
just for a moment, I'd like you to see, sense or imagine a perfect, harmonious world. What would it be like to live in a perfect and harmonious world? We are the dreamers and the creators of our reality. What reality do you choose to create for us all? See that reality now. And feel the joy in your heart of living in a world where all are nourished. brothers and our sisters, to the seas, to the trees, to the plants, to the children. So I want you to imagine now that you are standing in a circle, a circle surrounded by all of the people who are currently in this space with us now. And we are surrounded by the angelic forces of light of our ancestors and guides who live through us. In the center of the circle, let's see the earth. See the globe of earth in the center of our circle. Now see a net, a grid of light surrounding the earth. This is the Christ Consciousness Grid or the Unity Consciousness Grid, the energy that connects us all and connects to the energy ley lines of the planet. We call in and awaken the dragon energies which bring healing to the planet. And through our intentions alone, through the power of our heart, we are going to bring healing to the planet. We're going to bring joy to the hearts of everyone we're going to bring unity because we know the power of our intention so i just want you to bring into your heart all of your prayers for peace 
all of your prayers for healing, all of your prayers for the release of fear, for the return of sovereignty and the respect of human rights, for freedom, oneness. Feel this in your heart now and build up this energy because we are going to use the force of our love and our power and our intentions to heal this world. call on the forces available to us and the power within us and as you continue to breathe just feeling up your heart with this intention to bring healing and on our next breath we'll prepare to send that love through our hearts to the earth so just draw up that energy from Mother Earth now, this beautiful golden healing energy, this strong beam of energy coming up through your sacred centers into your heart. And you're going to draw down this beautiful silver and green energy down from the source, down into your crown and down into your heart. See these two energies forming an infinity symbol in your heart with a star around it and as you draw all of that energy in prepare to take a breath and release as you do so see the energy being poured into the earth see how our energy is bathing the earth in golden light clearing and purifying all lower vibrational energies Continue to breathe 13 breaths through the heart with energy, with intention, with knowing. Deep breath in and release. Bathe in the earth in your light and in. in your heart and just seeing the earth being bathed in light, being bathed in love, raising in vibration, raising and shaking off all that no longer serves, shaking off all that no longer serves. or imagine the earth being bathed in this light see children smiling and happy. 
happy. See everybody living in harmony with the planet. See our ideal reality being birthed right now on the earth. This is our true reality. And once we maintain the vibration of love, it is so. And in this moment, we come together to create this reality. So we give thanks to our ancestors and our guides, those who love us unconditionally. We give thanks to Mother, Father, God for the gift of life, for the gift of breath. We give thanks for good health. We give thanks for our bodies that house our spirit. We give thanks for food and shelter and comfort in these times. Divine Creator, Divine Mother, we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for bringing us together in this sacred circle to do these works. We know that when we come together in a high intention, miracles take place. So we bring forth the healing of our planet, the healing of all of humanity. We give thanks for this opportunity to bring balance and peace. We give thanks for this opportunity to learn and to release. And we thank the ancestral mothers, all those who came before us. We thank you for laying the foundation that we now stand upon. And as we move into this new cycle, as we give birth to our new version of ourselves, as we give birth to a new reality, having learned the lessons from the past, we give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks. And we ask for a smooth and safe transition through this phase and through this stage. We ask that you keep us protected in line with our highest good and with harm to none. And we ask that our intentions and our prayers are made manifest because we know that no prayer from the heart goes unanswered. So in this time, Creator, we ask for peace to be in the hearts of each and every man. We ask for understanding. We ask for compassion. We ask for empathy. We command our sovereignty. We take the responsibility to see all life as precious, to honour the God within all of us, and to learn our lessons. Divine Creator, Divine Mother, we thank you in this time. Amen, Amen, Amen. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Take a nice deep breath in and release. And just feel the energy of love in your heart and peace. And just give thanks for the gift of life. Just allow gratitude to flow through each and every cell of your body. Smile through every cell of your body. See your heart smiling. See your stomach smiling. Your lungs smiling. Your blood smiling see your whole being smiling see your crown chakra illuminated like the sun and see a beautiful energetic field around you feel it buzzing feel yourself vibrating feel health within your body feel peace within your mind and give thanks give thanks for this moment and this opportunity to be in a space of peace for just for this moment we give thanks and as we prepare to draw back in our energies and ground to conclude this meditation just speak any words of intentions or any prayers that you have personally to the most high any soul reminders that your soul has for you just receive it in this moment as we prepare to center ourselves within our bodies, within our beings. And as you take a nice deep breath in and release. Just bringing your attention to the sun above your head and the star above the sun, which is Sirius. And way, way up into the universe, the womb of the source just give thanks for the opportunity to be in this sacred space and make your intention to disconnect and as you do so just feel the silver beam of light coming down to 
towards you. Down through the sun. See the flower of life symbol in the sun. And see the flower of life symbol pour into your body now. As we give thanks to Father Sun and for the golden alchemical healing energies of the 12 dimensional forces of light, vibrations of light. We make our intention now to disconnect physically, but to still feel the etheric connection to the sun and the warmth and healing energy of the sun in our cells and our bodies, bringing health and vitality in each and every moment. So as you take another breath in, just see the energy from the sun pouring down one last time towards your crown and see the white and golden lotus flower that was open on the top of your head slowly closing in now sealing off that golden energy protecting your auric field and bathing it in this golden alchemical light draw the energy down now through your third eye crystal in your pituitary gland in your pineal gland down into your throat chakra you see the last bit of this golden energy pouring now into your heart chakra forming a spiral of emerald and gold into the heart and see it's sealed now with the flower of life Bring your attention again once more now to Mother Earth's core. And as you do so, just give a, a message of thanks to Mother Earth. Speak to Mother Earth. Let her know whatever it is that you want her to know at this moment. Send love to the Earth and to the planet. And as you take a deep breath in, just drawing up those golden roots and unwrapping them from Mother Earth's core. Seeing them coming up, up past the underwater caverns of the earth, up through the clay, the bedrock, the crystals, up through the ground beneath you, up through your earth star chakra. Just say close and notice your earth star chakra goes back to the black and gold colour. Just drawing that energy up to the base of your feet, up to and past your knees, into your hips, into your root chakra, up through your sacral, your solar plexus. And seeing the golden yellow of your solar plexus mixing in with the emerald green of your heart as a spiral. Take a deep breath in and release. Another deep breath in and release. And as you take your last deep breath in, just wiggling your toes and your fingers and bringing your energy back into the room. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. <laughs> so I hope you are all well. Are you still with me? <laughs> Please let me know that you're there. Let me know how it's been for you. It's quite a loving energy. Ida says she's giving thanks. Sean said he enjoyed that. Hey Stephanie, how are you? Peaches, oh greetings sis. Greetings to Mora and Linda and Lotus and Naya and everybody who is here. Brother Key. Oh, greetings, Emma. Patricia says, amazing. So much tingling. Ashe, ashe, ashe. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, seeing some hearts now. Prima says magical. Patricia said I felt the energy. Linda said fire. Yes, 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 family. Natalie said thank you, sister. Yes, the message. Simone Powell said that was beautiful. Thank you. Clee says amazing. Thanks so much, sis. Makita says give thanks. Amazingly delightful. Love and light. Natalie said my feet were burning. As Shay girl, ground that beautiful energy. And the thing is, right, we are not just imagining this. Colours are frequencies. We are vibrations. Everything is consciousness, right? So when we go into a space of meditation, we're not just sitting here thinking about things. We are shifting in consciousness. We are experiencing our thoughts as, and, and they are real. And the reason why we're using colours is because colours... colours maintain vibrations we're working with sixth and seventh dimensional energies which are symbols and sound and light okay and gold is a color that transmutes energy it raises the vibration of energy of anything that it touches it alchemizes it transmutes it it energizes its protection for us greetings to come on yes my lovely leslie's well oh love all of the hearts and stuff natalie said it was wonderful linda said give thanks give thanks give thanks yes and it's all about being in a space of joy family we have to stay in our hearts stay in our centers we have to speak into reality and existence what it is that we want to experience right there are higher protection higher forces working with us you know even in the bible it says it gives he gives his angels charge over thee we have to call on certain energies when we are in a space of needing support and we have to try Trust in what we feel and see inside of here. Okay, Leslie said, had a lucid experience out of body. Yes, because we went into the womb of creation. We went into zero point. And this is the time where we're in right now. We are in like an infinity loop and we're right in the middle of that infinity loop. And that is the genesis, the gene of Isis, the point of creation. So we are consciously utilizing our spiritual energy, our consciousness to create and manifest from that point. And that is what we have to do as the architects of the universe, as the creators. We are no longer here to be innocent bystanders and to have our reality controlled for us. We are the creators with our thoughts and our emotions that's why they invest so much energy in triggering us okay so it's time to awaken those inner senses the more that we do these transmissions you start to activate those higher senses your intuition your ability to project your your consciousness the ability to uh, have out of body experiences the ability to remote view and be able to observe different spaces galaxies you know these are things that we used to have as a child and we have to reignite those um gifts within us they are they are our first senses and everything that we're going through right now is helping to awaken us to the extrasensory perception that we have the virus is in the mind the virus is in the way that we look at our reality and the physical body we are being offered an opportunity to expand and upgrade our awareness of who we are we are being given an opportunity to readdress the way that we are living and the sanctity of life we are giving an opportunity to utilize these gifts we are the phoenix risings we are you know transforming through the ashes and we have to now start to work these higher senses by doing these things by learning to be more mindful about what we're eating you know i'm talking a lot about light at the moment and we are shifting in in even our molecular structure okay our physiology is changing we're moving from being carbon dense beings the 666 to the to light based beings 616 we are light you know our blood has crystals our pineal gland has a crystal a real literal crystal is crystalline energy that we are fueled by so we are starting to understand the nature of our energetic system and in a way this whole situation is a blessing in disguise because it is only usually through illness that we start to really pay attention to ourselves to our body and address the way that we are living so i hope that you not really enjoyed that um that guidance that 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 guided meditation i had a whole um meditation a whole session planned before but today when i was dealing with the angelics it was just all about bringing the vibration of love and bringing the awareness okay we have to understand who it is that we are inside but we also have to understand that we are evolving and there are some things that we do not know so whilst we are in this 
uh, cocoon stage, not quarantine. Use our words powerful. We're in the cocoon stage. We are in the point of transformation. Whilst we're here, utilize the opportunity to really visualize and recreate the reality of what you want to experience and who it is that you want to be. We are transforming in this time, okay? We have the choice to define how we see this experience. We do not have to accept anything as it is but we do have to determine how we move through this space you know and it's about being in a space of peace and trust and power yeah you are a powerful divine being you are a powerful being and you chose on a soul level to be here at this time i was saying today that we don't realize that when we're going through our life we're being prepared we're being prepared all of our experiences are preparing us so that when that moment when the most high needs us when the planet needs us when source needs us to come here and do what it is that we came here to do it is activated in us okay we are the warriors we are the healers we are the teachers we are the leaders we are the governors and we have to wake up to that but we only wake up through crises and that is the reason for duality in the first place that's why everything isn't just love and light we have love and light we have darkness and ultimately it's to bring everything into balance because there is a divine order to all things and so we are moving into a time that we could never even imagine so if we can't even imagine it let's just imagine our best possible reality we cannot continue to let people control our minds. One of the things that I've learned to develop over this time is mental immunity. We're thinking about physical immunity. We have to develop some mental immunity so that we can be conscious and mindful of the things that we allow into our mind. The subconscious is what creates our reality. And most of our subconsciouses are programmed by the external things that we see. We have to take responsibility and start taking mastery over our mind. We have to trust in the visions that we're receiving. We have to trust in our innate power to heal ourselves. We have to trust in the natural things that pick at us. You know, oh, I want to be a healer. I want to be a priestess. We need more healers. We need more priestesses. We need more shamans. We, meet, we need more engineers. We need more of who you are. We need you to be who you are. So in this cocoon stage that we're in, use it as a chance to strip away just like the snake strip away that ex that which no longer serves you and transform you know this is an opportunity for us to create more millionaires is an opportunity for us to create whatever it is that we want families look at all the amount of families that might be created from this especially you know as it's cold <laughs> as we're all trapped inside we might have a few extra sagittarians running around at the end of the year but the point is we get the chance to um really choose how we how we live this out and this particular you know situation that we're in it's an attack on the spirit on the mind and that alone helps you to know that we are moving into a space of reality where we have to understand that there is a world beyond what we can see but we have to learn that we have the ability to control things and to know things on that realm as well we are expanding our consciousness we are having to get get wise at this time and our ancestors our guides the angels you know they are there to help communicate and help us to remember our soul plan and our soul destiny in this time be creative you know paint draw write sing create because then the source can use us we are writing history right now believe that humanity has never been through an experience like this that has been recorded so each and every one of your experiences is valid what do you want to teach the future? What do you want people to know about what this time was like? We are the historians. We are the creators. All right. So we are have to be conscious about what it is that we want to create. All right. Spend time with each other. I'm being pushed and encouraged to spend more time communicating with you here and sharing this energy and this knowledge. There is nowhere to hide and there's no need to hide because at the end of the day, we are here to strip off the mask and be the here, the, the we, sorry, that we came here to be. Linda says purging and then the phoenix will rise. Yes, and as within, so without. So don't look and expect it to happen on side. Make it happen within you. What is what is the situation bringing up in you? What fears is it bringing up in you? What habits is it bringing up in you? What ways is it bringing up in you that you feel like you need to change? Or what is it that you need to bring more of into your life and into the way that you are? This is the time to see. Prima says, yes, mental immunity from the mental virus. You're done now. Uh, Linda says, yes, 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 yes. Makeda, mental immunity. Yes, sister.
how it's, it's time no fear full joy yes and it's not always easy right because we are being bombarded but that's why i said to you we have to use the power of vibration light sound technology is the is the healer of the future but it's always been here play music make sure that what you're listening to is uplifting to your soul have uplifting conversations do things that are going to help you to be in an uplifting mood because this too shall pass it's all about what you do whilst it's happening you know and and that's what will determine the outcome also so yes let me know how you're getting on i wonder if i should pick some cards for you all if you would like me to pick a few cards before i go then let me know um in the comment box but um it's been a joy to be with you all today you know just just to spend time because we have to uplift each other and that's what i see you know, it's going to be the positivity of this time. We're going to have to be there for each other and inspire and empower each other. Also, if you have any questions that you want to ask or if there's anything that you want to say, love in the heart, Patricia, thank you so much. You know I love the hearts, you know, but yes, everything has stopped. Some of us can't go to work. We, we can't do what we need to do. Children are home, so we have to make the best of it. And what I love is people are sharing recipes, you know what I mean? People are sharing remedies. People are having to go back old school. And mama knows best. Mother nature knows best. You know? So, yeah. There is a silver lining. There is a silver lining. I'm coming down. Oh, yes. Pick some cards. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. To the cards. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to do... We're going to do some angels. Yeah, we'll do some angels. So we'll do an Archangel Michael, uh, which will be like a message and a prayer for you guys. And then I'll choose between the Angel of Atlantis, um, Angels of Atlantis, and the Angels, some other Angel cards, <laughs> to, um, yeah, to give you a reading. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to make a donation, please do. Also, I do have my Patreon um, and I will also be doing my 12 Seeds to Awaken Your Spirit course as a crash course for anybody who wants to use this time to actually start their awakening journey and get a grips on understanding themselves, understanding their energy. Um, and so that will be available to you as well. And it will be donation based whilst this whole season is going on. So you just can, if you want to know about that, then just send me a message and I'll send you the link. But um, yeah, it's about educating ourselves. It's about becoming aware, people. You know, it's about doing the shadow work so that we can eliminate those fears, so that we can gain those tools of self-mastery, so that we can expand in consciousness. We are moving from one stage of being to another. And so sometimes we need some support with that. All right. So the first person who wanted a card is Patricia. So Patricia, what has Archangel Michael got to say to you? Mm -hmm. So Patricia, <laughs> you've been told to make a commitment in whatever it is that your spirit is encouraging you to do. You might be dithering, you might be thinking that you're not good enough, you might be thinking that there's stuff that you need to do, there's more things that you need to do. Spirit is saying no, just make a commitment to be your best self or whatever it is that spirit is calling you to do. And Archangel is coming to give you the confidence and the courage and asking you to just call on whatever you need, to, whatever forces you need to, to give you the strength. But this is not the time for you to be playing safe. This is the time for you to make a commitment. Because once you make a commitment now, everything else will align to bring you through with what it is that you're supposed to do. But once we don't make a commitment and we're differing, it's not going to happen. So that is what Archangel Michael is saying to you. And let me see angels of atlantis say it's a time for liberation and this is archangel san uh, joffiel who is the archangel of joy of the energy of joy and the guardian of the uh, solar plexus chakra so for you it's all about liberation and making a commitment so that commitment that you're going to make is obviously going to be something that's going to make you feel free and it's also going to help you to feel happy yeah all right so next is do, 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 do think it's Ida hey Ida 
All right, so what has Archangel Michael got for Eda? Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. So whatever it is that's going on in your life, it, it's time for you to get real, make the decisions and move on. Again, too much differing. It's time to just move forward with whatever it is. And it says, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Okay, thank you. And he's also offering you the gift of courage and strength. And the card that you got, the Angels of Atlantis, was Zafkiel. So it's asking you to surrender. And again, admitting the truth to yourself and surrendering, they both seem very much in alignment. So that is your focus right now and your message from the angelic realms. So Sister Natalie, sending much love out to you and the children. Let's see what the angels have to say for you. Oh, so you've got the angel of soul love and it says time to look at how you value yourself. So whilst you're in this cocoon stage, it's about you releasing the past perception of yourself and allowing you to step into your future self. When we were doing the meditation and we were visualizing our ideal life, you know, spirit has been encouraging me to spend time communicating with my future self because the future version of me is what's going to help me in this time. We're always striving to get, you know, back to the, the powerful part of us. So spending time releasing that past image because it no longer serves you. And in order for something to be new, you have to make it so, right? And so um, you have to intend right now and make a, a decision to just leave the past behind and create a new perception of who it is that you are. All right, and love you for you. And Archangel Michael is saying to you again, <laughs> make a commitment. We're all being encouraged to step out, and I think that that is definitely that Aries energy coming in and saying, take action because Aries is fire. Aries is about go out and do what needs to be done. We need to get it done. The fire is burning, <laughs> the candle is jumping. We give thanks. So, this is for Tashai. Oh, okay, so the goddess of sacred path. I love this. The goddess of sacred path comes to say to you, Tashai, let go of the logic and trust your intuition. You're being encouraged to move out of your mind, yeah, and into your heart and allow yourself to really feel that, yeah, there's a resistance to really just going with the energy and going with the flow, but you're being encouraged that your path is waiting to be open to you and it's not exactly what you think it is. It's more. It's more. So you've got to be able to surrender to the flow. Let go of the logic and trust your intuition. And the angels of Atlantis are saying to you, again, surrender. So spirit is saying to us pretty much all that we need to let go. What are we waiting for? Who are we waiting for? We need to stop telling ourselves that we need this or we need that. Actually, this is what this time is, right? And this cannot be stressed enough. There is no reason why you should be tethered to a past perception of you any longer. This is literally the zero point, the recreation space. Who do you want to be? Who is binding you to your past? Make peace with whoever you've got to make peace with. Forgive whoever you've got to forgive and get rid. Give thanks for the life lessons that you've learned, but utilize the lessons and move forward. Do not hold yourself hostage to your past. Okay, so the next person is Lotus Anaya. Okay, the angel of psychic abilities. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. So you, again, are opening up. You're going through a flowering. You need to learn to trust in what you are feeling, okay, and trust in what you are seeing. And if you feel, you know, if you feel something and you're not too sure, just ask source, ask spirit. Most high, show me if what I'm feeling is correct. And you just look out for the signs and you will see it. But you are going through an expansion and an acceleration. This woman's got rainbow light around you. So you are activating your higher senses, activating your higher less um, levels of consciousness okay <laughs> and you got archangel sandalfin who we've been working for working with and this is this is basically saying planetary cycles so you are in alignment with the shift sis you're going through the shift and everything that you've been working on is coming into alignment now that's really positive for this this time that we're in so i hope that you resonate with that all right so uh, i think this is for prima Okay, I'm going to go with this deck. Please let me know if it was uh, on point for you. Ooh, prima. 
the god of the arts the artist within you is about to emerge so you are being encouraged to get creative you're also being um encouraged to put your true self forward put your your you forward like who is it that you are what is it that you do you know you're being encouraged to, to tap into your subconscious and tap into your energy i see you dancing i see you creating Again, so you've got the angel of communication as well. Communically, communicate clearly and don't be afraid to tell it like it is. And then the card from the angels of Atlantis for you is gratitude. Understand and appreciate the, the plentifulness and the abundance that is around you at this time. Alrighty. So, I think I've done... Did I do Natalie? Yeah, I did Natalie. Uh, did I do Leslie? How are you all doing there? Send me some hearts to let me know that you're feeling the love vibrations. Yeah. All right. Leslie. Leslie. What's the message for Leslie? One more. Okay. It's a big message. Hold on. Okay, so cards of quite a few cards have come up so i'm going to go with the first card that came which is the angel of compassion and it speaks about having compassion for yourself i'm going to choose another card let's see what happens it's starting to get hot actually leslie 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 ah so leslie energy healing work so there's a need for you to rebalance your energies and it could be energy healing work that you need to send to yourself just spending some time healing yourself or also doing some energy healing work learning how to do some energy healing work but that is the message that's coming up for you right now and the message that's come up from gabriel is the benediction so sitting down and speaking truth and receiving truth are the two things for you right now but my spirit is telling me that you need to get in contact with me so please do send me a message okay ah okay one second vibrations are very high <laughs> uh, prima says i've been feeling to write by setting up a blog letting people know who i am hello if that's not confirmation i really don't know what it is oh my god the vibrations are very high i'm feeling hot like my whole body is heating up you know <laughs> i'm feeling the energies i'm really gonna have to go and sit down in a minute and go and probably take off all of my clothes to the wind leslie said thank you very much we'll call yeah please do my sister please do my sister um who is this for i did to shy did Ida? oh okay I think, I think I did Natalie. I think it's Marilyn Mass next. This is from Marilyn. Ooh. Yep. The angel of joyfulness. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen in your life. And you also got the angel of vision. So someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others is saying so you're being encouraged to be in a space of joy something good is going to happen so focus on you know positivity and keeping your your, your vibes up for but it's also saying that trust your intuition and trust your feeling trust your vibes there may be some things going on around you which aren't as they seem and rather than looking at it in a way of oh hey who's deceiving me or what is the negative thing just use it as a way of understanding that maybe you're awakening to understanding things on a different level you know and you're learning how to trust in yourself so that's the guidance for you marilyn mass oh michelle hello 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 all righty sorry one second 
second. Hmm. Uh, I'm not doing two packs together. Okay. Oop, oop. So the first one is that. I think the two cards then have come together. And it is Archangel Michael who wants to speak to everybody right now. Sorry guys. I have to clear up the pack. Alright, so Archangel Michael wants to speak to Michelle. Oop. Ha! New beginnings and a fresh start. And I love the the angel, the, the brown angel on the card. So new beginnings and a fresh start for you, Michelle. It says, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me to release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience life's challenges. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Ashe, ashe, ashe. All right. Let me know that you are still there. <laughs> I love the hands, Michelle. Oh, Cecilia. Oh, greeting, Cecilia. Oop, two cards fell out for you. Hello. Um. So the cards that came out for you, Cecilia, is... Uh, the first card was Goddess of Psychic Protection. So what you believe you create, no one can harm you. So you've definitely got to maintain a vibration of being in peace um, and of divine protection. It's also encouraging you to just up your protection as well. Um, and the next card that came out for you was um, Goddess of the Earth. I have a song called Goddess of the Earth. And it says an idea connected to imagination, creativity and nature is coming your way. An opportunity or idea connected to imagination creativity and nature is coming your way and i feel like archangel michael wants to have a word with you as well so let's see what we've got over here with archangel michael okay Woo. oh okay Ah, uh, okay so the first card that came up for you is again know that you are guarded and protected shield yourself so that's come up in two different packs that you need to just know that you're protected but shield yourself also it says trust your inner guidance and know that it is true real and trustworthy okay trust in yourself and the last card that came out is lean on the creator lean on the source and your angels for support they will guide you and the prayer is god and the angels i give you whatever situation now and completely i step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved he definitely wanted to have a word with you so um yeah maybe he's also encouraging you to speak some truth and don't be afraid to speak your truth um you know like don't be afraid to to be wrong or to be seen as different don't be afraid to um speak your truth amongst people that you wouldn't normally do so know that you are protected because what you are thinking is what you create so if you're constantly thinking as well that you are going to if you think that you're going to attract that negative energy then you are going to don't let it stop you from speaking your truth and it's instead affirm your protection okay yes okay who else is there oh simone powell i think so this is a message from archangel Michael for Simone. It says, write about your feelings and whatever it is that your thoughts are because your emotions are clouding you and it's making you confused. You might need a bit of support as well, Spirit is saying. It's like you've got so many options and so many things going on in your mind that you may need some support to figure it out. But start by writing about what your thoughts and feelings are and get them out so that you can see them. The prayer is, thank you for helping me to tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so that I can clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings and healing. And the next card that came for you is to detach from any negative situations. Okay, you, and also he's wielding the sword of truth. So use the, the truth to protect and shield yourself is what Archangel Michael is saying. And the prayer that goes with it. Oh, I'm loving those hearts. Give thanks. Yes, girl, you know, I love some hearts. Okay, <laughs> Archangel Michael is saying, I ask you to use your flaming sword. Yes, thank you, Simone. I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama. 
Ugh, he can do that for all of us, right? We call on Archangel Michael and ask him to use his flaming sword to cut any attachments to fear and drama so that we are centered in the knowing that peace is everywhere within me and this situation can i get an amen and an ashe on that there one that one was good <laughs> we could all really reflect on that one that was great i hope that resonated with you um simone and i'm guided to call to pick one of the angels and god's ones and it's the angel of healing that's come up for you the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing and so i just want to take a moment as well to send you some healing love your way simone to your heart from the source and i want to send healing love to each and every one of you as well and i want each and every one of you to just send the vibration of love through your screen to each other because at the end of the day we can offer a, a prayer or a moment in support a loving reflection to each other so i just want to send you all that love and healing energy and that joyful vibration that we are all gonna get over this cecilia says thank you sister i love your crown hey i'm loving it too it's my new aries do new you new hair i mean the hair was getting too very long so i'm thankful to have a bit of relief for thy neck and thy body <laughs> can move a bit more feel a bit more liberated you know so i'm thankful loving the hearts patricia you know i love those hearts simone says thank you tanisha tanisha says the picture behind is yeah uh yes this is from my book the 12 seeds to awaken your spirit and as i was saying before whilst we are in our cocoon stage through this transformation i'm offering the opportunity for each and every one of you to take the journey of spiritual awakening which is which can actually be applied to your life as well it's a personal development and spiritual awakening journey um with my online course 12 seeds to awaken your spirit so if that's something that you're interested in please send me a message a comment and let's get this work going we need more of us to be awakened into our divine destiny into our divine power and the more of us that learn to heal ourselves that learn to master ourselves then they can help others this is what this time is about if you have a, a you know a, an affinity to healing an affinity to divination to you know connecting with spirit to nurturing this is the time to awaken those gifts and so part of my journey at this particular moment and i'm having to really push it through now is to wait awaken more guides more healers more more empaths more nurturers no, more matriarchs the world needs more of us and so it's our time more priestesses more shamans you know more more vehicles for the ancestors to move through because we are going to be needed so much in this coming time so it is our time okay cecilia said that the message resonated thank you uh linda thomas said oh i missed you out oh my god thank you yes uh, linda linda oh. your home is protected by the angels so have no fear and do not worry and oh so the next card that comes up says that you created this situation whatever conundrum it is or whatever sticking point that you're in or even whatever challenge that might be coming up or even whatever goodness but whatever's going on you've created it and you have the power to change it you have the power to change it and the prayer says thank you for letting me lean on your strength and reminding me of my personal power please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will and creating peace and blessing for everyone involved ashe 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 jenny star i missed you out okay girl i'm coming for you and so the cards that you got linda um were the goddess of the shadows so what you perceive to be your dark side holds hidden treasures and girl i know you know that this is for you okay give thanks guys because it's been scrolling up so i really couldn't keep as as best track as i would have liked to um so linda the goddess of shadows what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure which we have been telling you so time to step up and step out into thy destiny okay into thy destiny uh the god of uh, An anaya <laughs> it's like you're here in the background going whoa, 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 whoa. i can feel you <laughs> oh, to the god of the underworld oh so you also got the god of the underworld and it says something which no longer serves you is about to end and i think you know exactly what that is linda i'll be seeing you very soon my gorgeous lovely 
all right now so cam is next um what does spirit have to say to cam cam Ooh. all right so cam the first card that you've got was the angel of addiction healing so this is the time of a positive transformation and healing it's a positive time so whatever it is that has been you know something that you know you have to break something that you know you've been in fear of you need to break that right now it is time for you to if sometimes we have an addiction to drama sometimes we have an addiction to live in a certain way of life but now we're being called no we have to move beyond it sometimes we have an addiction to even being right we have an addiction to justice not without without realizing that justice is, is, is served in every single moment so you are being encouraged to you know, transform something in your life. It is a time of transformation, positive transformation. And the next card that comes up is the goddess of strength. She looks like my sister, actually. Look a piece, look a piece. The goddess of strength. Stand up for what you believe in. You will gain respect by holding your ground. And that says to me as well that whatever it is that you think, you know, your 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 vision and your mission is is valid. It's just the way that you're going about it is is something that needs to be released there's a, a different way of you being able to stand in your power okay and that's what i'm receiving from that and let's see what the angels of atlantis have to say oh you got two planetary changes planetary cycles as well so things are coming into alignment for you too how how um synchronistic that you both got the same card interesting and then the next card that we got was metatron and metatron connects with our stellar gateway which is the 12th chakra which is the diamond ray the diamond ray represents the expansion of all light because when you take source light which is just pure white light and you put it through a diamond you get all of the different rays of the spectrum and you also get other frequencies such as delta theta um you know theta frequencies so basically your stellar gateway is your connection to the source and the connection to your soul aspect, your higher self. So you're being encouraged to connect with that space of you and have mercy and compassion come from that space with whatever it is that's going on in your life right now. Okay, I hope that resonated with you, King. Much love, much love. Marilyn, I did pull some cards for you. Um, I'm going for Jenny Star and then Cleo. Jenny Star. Jenny Star. Jenny. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. So, Jenny, you got the goddess of awakening. Hello. It says, this is a wandering, wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. So, you get to use this opportunity to expand, to really go into your sacral chakra, to be whoever it is that you want to be. You know, whatever's been holding you back, girl, it's time to let that go. This is a time of wondrous exploration, romance and creativity. That sounds good to me. An angel of families, okay? The angels surround both you and your family at this time. So know that you are all safe and protected. Do things with them. Enjoy them. You know, this is the season. This is the time. Also, you've got the goddess of psychic protection so what you believe you create so maybe you need to center your mind maybe you're attracting some negative energy maybe you're creating that negative energy but you have to understand that no one can harm you and as i said that card kind of relates to the collective conscious right now because we people have been in a state of fear but when you're in that state of fear and you forget that you, you know there is no force more powerful than the god that's within you there is no more powerful force than the creator and the only thing that you can do the most powerful thing that you can do is stay in the vibration of love seek guidance where you find it be that which you want to receive and live good live good because there are thankfully there are the laws of the universe we don't have to sit down and just just be a and obey other people's laws there are natural nature natural laws that govern the universe and all things and we only have to be in alignment with that okay okay so another message for the collective that's come through is focus upon divine and perfect health which we already know and your children are watched over by angels that's the most important thing right now our children and we are feeding them for the future we have to really teach them about this experience we have to keep them out of the space of fear because we don't want to start implanting this you know traumatic feelings these traumatic experiences into them so so quickly into their life so when they're at such young stages in their life so we ask for the protection and the covering of all our children 
okay and god and archangel michael thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my health and well-being dear guardian angels of my children born and unborn thank you for watching over our children and ensuring their happiness and safety thank you for the hearts please guide us so that we know what the best ways to be good parents and role models for our children and other people's children because it takes a village to raise a child not just one person so we need to start taking responsibility for each other's children again cleo cleo okay Ooh. Archangel Michael, what have you got to say to Cleo? Cleo, ah, new beginnings and a fresh start. Okay, so for you, it's all go. You are planting the new seed. You've done a lot of the work, girl, as well. So you deserve it. You are deserve it. So it says, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience life's changes. Yes, amen to that. Okay, and so we're going to get another one for Klee. Ooh. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. That was too many. Klee. Oh. Ooh, there you go. Angel of self-worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. And I can only think that that means more power okay that needs more more belief more strength in yourself and then the next card that came out is the angel of prayer ask the universe and the angels to help you for guidance you know also i'm sending you much love okay who else i think it's tanasha i hope so please let me know that you guys are there please give me some hearts uh okay tanasha Oh, it's accurate. Okay, well, the angels be talking to you. I choose not to get involved. <laughs> Sending you love. Okay, Tanasha. 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 Okay, Tanasha. You've got the angel of support. So the universe has heard your silent call for help. So whatever it is that's been on your heart, been on your spirit for a while and you've been asking for the guidance, know that your prayer has not been unanswered. We are going through a shift in a stage right now and what it is that you want will be made manifest. So just hold on to that intention, okay? The next card is the goddess of knowledge. Let us know if that resonated with you, Tanasha. The goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know and trust in your intuition. And that is the key right now as well, you know. Trust in what you already know and build and develop on that. Trust your intuition, okay. And the last card that came out for you because you got three. Spirit was definitely trying to communicate with you. Is the god of indulgence. And it says, it's all right. Stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence imbalance is healthy so it's okay for you to enjoy yourself and enjoy spoiling yourself and enjoy the things that you you like it's okay you know you are allowed to nurture and spoil yourself at this time so please know that you are supported that your call has been heard and it has been answered it's just going to take time the goddess of knowledge utilize what you already know and trust your intuition trust your feeling trust your gut, gut instinct and the god of indulgence says it's all right stop beating yourself up it's okay enjoy your life enjoy yourself enjoy what you've created i hope that resonates with you and i think it's kasanji and makita that is next let me know guys how this has been for you i'll be signing off soon if you want to make a donation then please do feel free to but i'm thankful for each and every one of you for joining in this space even if we can just raise the vibration for a few minutes you know and share some sacred space for each other why not if there's anything that you would like me to do more of any videos you'd like to see we've got time haven't we so we might as well spend some time together bettering ourselves expanding our knowledge oh i've also started up the healers circle which is going to be a sacred space for all healers all practitioners all nurturers um to basically develop their skills to be supported to be nurtured we did have some retreats planned for the year we'll see how that goes but we can still offer the support online and we'll also have different professionals who are from different fields and business and marketing um, so that we can you know get ourselves prepared for this shift um, and really start to develop our craft 
but also i'm also looking for people who have admin skills who have social media skills so that we can share and trade our services so that we can build a unit and network and platform that can support all of our goals so if you're interested if you've got a skill that you've got to share if you would like you know support then please let's get it all right this one is for Kasanji. Kasanji. I think I said it right. No. Kasanji. Kasanji. Okay. The angel of manifestations. Your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. We do not understand. We are about to get paid. Okay? Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. So please expect abundance. Expect miracles. Ah, so the card that you got as well from the Angels of Atlantis is Archangel Raphael. And the card is the, the is um, communion. So spending time with people that, um, you know, that you feel connected to. People that nurture your, your mind, feed your mind, body and spirit. People that you can learn from. People that you feel at one with. is going to be nurturing for you at this time. And the next one, I think, is for Makeda. Greetings, Makeda. Again, if you're interested in the 12 Seeds to Awaken Your Spirit uh, program, then please do send me a direct message and we'll go with that. So this is for Makeda. 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 Okay. Makeda, you got the goddess of sacred path. Again, it's funny. Tashai Makeda got it and you got it as well, Makeda. <laughs> That's interesting. You also got the angel of psychic ability. So your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at this moment. Learn to trust in it. Let go of logic and trust in your intuition and inner feelings. And what else do we have for Makeda? Makeda Solomon. Okay. You've got Metatron. Metatron is asking you to spend time in meditation so that you can receive divine wisdom divine intelligence divine knowledge okay and the other cards talked about your intuition being activated at this time so maybe spend some time in meditation spend some time connecting with the energy of metatron or with your stellar gateway which is your 12th chakra or even just diamond consciousness and see what information that you receive through your meditations the next card that's come out for you is archangel hanael and he governs the root chakra and the card is willpower so you're being encouraged to find the willpower that you need to take your path release the logical thoughts that you have or whether you can do it or not or whatever things that you feel like you need to have before you can follow this path and just trust in your intuition the divine intelligence the guidance will come as long as you seek it ashe 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 i think we are finished with the readings so i want to say thank you to each and every one of you I appreciate you all for being here um let me know that you enjoyed this gathering that we've had i hope that your spring equinox is going to be amazing the ancestors are happy yeah i am happy i hope that you are also happy yes and in the midst of these times the best thing that we can do is be the change that we want to see raise our vibration to the highest vibration of love you know choose to live exactly how we would like the world to be and spend time visualizing our future self we are in the time of aries which is in the time the time of action the time of fire the time of you know releasing all fears and going for it we are in the cocoon stage you know we have we're about to transform and so we can utilize this time for our benefit to bring out our creativity our skills to you know tap into our true gift of who it is that we truly are okay um if you wanted to make a donation thank you makeda the link should be in the uh, description box for this it should have a paypal link there so if anybody wants to make a donation i would truly appreciate that um yeah we're moving into a next chapter we are in the cocoon stage so it's up to us how we move forward use this time wisely okay use this time wisely cultivate joy cultivate happiness speak to your soul communicate with your friends and family and those who are around you and just spend time really 
looking after your mental, emotional and spiritual and physical health and well-being. Look after the God in you. All right, family, I'm sending you much love of the highest vibration and wishing you an abundant and blessed new year, new cycle. Where may we transition through this space and come out on the other side healthier, happier, more loving, more successful, more grounded and closer to living our divine purpose, our destiny and our dreams. May we be bold enough to be our authentic self, to live from the, you know, the purest potential of our being and to love each other fearlessly and unapologetically. I'm sending you all love of the highest vibration. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, family.